Legendary 90s actor Steven Seagal did not die and still exists. Steven Seagal was an actor. Action hero movies you usually turn to when Stallone and Schwarzenegger are on vacation. You know, that feeling when you want a milkshake but have only separately milk, sugar and tremor in your hands? Yeah, that's how Steven Seagal emerged. Nobody remembers Seagal movie plots, but everyone remembers what you wanted instead of them. 90s VHS porn. But as for now, Steven Seagal transformed from a dark net meme to a Russian propaganda gigolo. As an action movie actor, Seagal had a really strong side. He injures people wearing a charismatic poker face. And now he does the same. Produces damage from Russian propaganda. And poker face is still on. You know Putin. What's he like? I think he's a brilliant strategist, I think he's an intelligent man, I think he is a great world leader. Seagal started to hang out in Russia from 90s, supposedly because he has roots there. But his open collaboration began in 2012, when Seagal started appearing publicly with Putin. Now Steven has more photos with Putin than he has shots on stage. Putin and Seagal have much in common – age, martial arts, masculinity image and suspicion of rape. Seagal even ran from an interview when he was asked about rape accusations. You've been very much caught up in all the allegations of sexual harassment. You had a rape allegation against you and I wonder how you deal with all that. Seagal's Russian political Aaron Clown career had a significant push when in 2012 he became a member of the pro-Kremlin party in Moscow. Hollywood actor Steven Seagal is taking on a new role, joining a pro-Kremlin party in Moscow. It's no wonder though, because the pro-Kremlin party is a natural place where abandoned celebrities come to die. Anyway, Russia was so delusional about Seagal's capacity to influence the USA that in 2013, at the time, Vice Premier Dmitry Rogozin thought that degraded 90s action movies Aikido sexual offender could lobby the USA into buying Russian weapons. Vice Premier Minister Rogozin asked Seagal to lobby Russian firearms. One wonders how Russians would brief Seagal on that matter, like, you know, Steve, go to those fancy parties, blend in, small talk, how the weather today? Hey, nice suit, know what? A truck full of Russian AK-47 will perfectly match your tie. Wanna have a look? It's parked outside. So in 2013, a joke came true and Russian politics finally decided to hire Seagal to spread some influence in the USA. This is fun, because starting from 2000s, the only thing Seagal can influence is the amount of hair on his face. But this idea of using Seagal like a Russian asset went so far that Putin even suggested Obama to make Stephen honorary consul of Russia in Arizona and California. Americans reacted as if they had to hire a psycho with a shotgun as an orphanage guard. That all made Seagal the ideal poster child for friendship between their nations, Putin told Obama according to the US officials. Obama was flabbergasted. Our reaction was, you've got to be kidding, a US official told BuzzFeed News. Also, Seagal was dancing in Chechnya. <laughs> Chechnya is a Russian district famous for its oil and gas, and two wars Russia started against Chechen people. Of course, not because of that oil and gas. Also, Chechnya is famous for being fully occupied by Russia. And in recent years, Chechnya is also famous for the secret abductions, imprisonment, torture and extrajudicial killing of perceived gay men by the local authorities. And I'm gonna cut your fucking yeah. head off! Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. 
Maybe you are somehow tired of Seagal's fighting inside the narrative of his dehumanization, but we are trying to keep balance. So, serious accusations are compensated with everything good that Steven did. All those hundreds of broken hands in the 90s movies are so sweet and heartbreaking. <laughs> Starting from 2014, Steven Seagal began to slowly turn from B-movie protagonist to B-reality villain. In 2014, he said that Putin is his brother, friend and also one of the best leaders in the world. And that's why Russian 2014's invasion in Ukraine is legit. The actor expressed his support for the annexation of Crimea to Russia considering it very reasonable. And in the same year he gave a concert in the region. Since then Ukraine designated him an undesirable character. Visiting occupied Crimea, he did a gig with Putin bikers gang and showed his mass murder image. <laughs> That's my mass murder image. War criminal on a t-shirt. So yes, by 2016 Sigal unlocked all necessary achievements for Russian citizenship. Primary career degradation, poor beer choice, rape accusation and propaganda retranslation. All of that amounted to Putin himself presenting Steve with a Russian passport. That makes Seagal theoretically a possible conscript for the Russian army, therefore legit target for Ukraine. In 2018, Seagal finally did get the employment that involves the USA. He became a special cultural representative between Russia and USA. USA's reaction was usual laughter. Russia announced that actor Steven Seagal has been named a special uh. cultural representative between Russia and the United States. <laughs> <laughs> Seagal had no public opinion of full-blown Russian invasion in Ukraine on 24th of February 2022. When Fox News questioned him, he said vague stuff about peace. My prayers are that both countries will come to a positive, peaceful resolution where we can live, thrive together in peace. The 69 years old Seagal shared. Alas, judging from Stevens' this July claim that he would never abandon his Russian citizenship, we can conclude that he is okay with Russian atrocities in Ukraine. Also, we can make some conclusions of public appearance of one of the most vocal Kremlin's propagandists, Vladimir Solovyov, on the Seagal 70th birthday. Yeah, why are you here with me? Because each and every one of you. Are my family and you're my friends. We, my Vladimir Zelensky, das ist und nazistischen Schweine. Real moral bottom Steven hit when during summer 2022 he visited Alenivka, place where Russians executed Ukrainian prisoners of war. Former Hollywood action movie Steven Seagal now appears to be actively involved in covering up the Kremlin's war crimes and is in the prison in Olenivka where more than 50 Ukrainian prisoners of war were recently murdered. Firstly, Seagal took a walk on the crime scene as if it was some kind of museum. Then he expressed some opinions on the matter which were just blended generic Russian narrative that accused Ukraine of blowing up their own soldiers with HIMARS. I mean, we are in Yelinevka, as I have said, in the exact place where HIMARS came in, killed 50 people, wounded another 70 people. He also labeled killed Ukrainian prisoners of war as, of course, Nazis and accused President Zelensky of war crimes. One of the Nazis that was killed is a Nazi that was just starting to talk a lot about Zelensky and Zelensky being responsible for ordering torture. Is he trying to cheat some text from his hand? Ah, okay, it doesn't matter. That's Seagal. Hey. <laughs> After all, Steven had a meeting with the pro-Russian terrorist leader Denis Pushilin to announce shooting of a new documentary about the truth of the terrorists. Pushilin, before becoming a terrorist leader, was a local swindler in the most known Russian Ponzi scheme company MMM. Yes, 
a classic crook is now ruling the gang of pro-Russian terrorists and Seagal is shooting documentaries for them. We hope that documentaries are the only films Seagal will appear in from now on, including Bitches of Kremlin Part 47 additional footage that didn't make it to Final Cut. I remember you. So it looks like Seagal enjoys the company of sick dictators and war criminals. During the last years he also visited Belarus, where he ate a carrot from a dictator's hands like he's some kind of Bambi. He traveled to Kyrgyzstan to ride a horse to amuse local authoritarian ruler. Also, he shaked hand with Maduro in Venezuela, slept with Saddam Hussein and gave birth to a baby from Hitler, but the last ones are just a rumor. Почетный гость и посол доброй воли на маньяды принимал в нем непосредственное участие. One would ask, why Seagal mixed himself with filth and shit? The explanation is simple. Back in the US, he's a joke. But in Russia, he's revered as a Hollywood star and a prominent influencer. He's significant there, not because they love him now. Just because Russians are using Seagal as an angel of Western approval. Russians are showing Seagal to other Russians, saying that, in fact, look, Westerners are supporting Russia. And that makes their war against West more legit. They are showing that true Westerners are against the modern West. However, dramatically, the more Seagal stays in Russia, the less opportunities he has. There are not so many dictators left to plan some pleasant, handshaking future full of new impressions. We predict Seagal will be forced to go on official visit to Russian schools to shake hands with school bullies and school shooters to feel that animal power he craves so much. If it was interesting to you and made you smile or feel a little sad, then this is the perfect moment to subscribe to our YouTube channel or throw some dollars to our Patreon account. We will be very grateful. The link will be below. Thank you.